Kate and his mother, Teresa, and her sister-in-law are here to open up exclusively about the day that changed their lives forever. I can only imagine how difficult this is for you. I'm going to show you know, everybody an image of your daughter. It's the last image we had from before she went to that hotel that evening. Beautiful young woman. Very difficult to imagine how you would have been coping. All right, money makers. Now, she said, well, Dr. Oz said that this is the last image before she went to the hotel that evening. Now, let me tell y'all something. If y'all go to the Kanika Martin with, with, I'm sorry, I better find me something to point with for my money makers go in on me about my damn finger. But when y'all go to the Kanika Martin page with this, um, you know, it's got the little movement this whole thing if you look when this was posted if i'm not mistaken i don't have any notes beside me and y'all know i'm that's a no no because i was told to write this stuff down but if i'm not mistaken this was uploaded on the uh fourth of september okay so now if this was the fourth how is this the last picture Cause I'm quite sure, you know, the way she, uh, Kanika stayed, or Ken, you know, we said we were going to call her Ken over here on this channel. The way Ken stayed in this camera, in the mirrors, on the pictures, I'm quite sure it was some pictures of her, um, on what, the 8th when she left out at 1130. I'm quite sure she would have snapped it up before then, but the last update to that page was september the 4th and i'm not friends with the page so i don't know you know what was said other than you know what they show us because i'm quite sure you being friends you get to see more of the post you know what i'm saying so let me fix that buzzing okay so the last update to that page was september the 4th y'all go check it out for yourself Well, it looks like she's doing a very fine job of holding it together to me because I ain't seen one tear fall. Grammatically correction. I haven't seen one tear fall. I'm only doing this to save y'all from getting in my comments with stupid shit. But anyway, carry on. This seemed real scripted to me, but what she forgot to tell y'all, and I'm telling y'all I can't find these videos for the life of me. I came across it one night and my phone was dead and it was on the charger. So I was like, whenever it charge up, I'm going to come back to the videos and get that for my money makers. But anyway, I found some videos. Well, I lost them too. <laughs> but the videos were of Leonora, Kanika, uh, it looked like Shamaya was there, it looked like Jazz was there. It was like uh you know quite a few of them there they were all in lingerie or like swimsuit bikinis you know um they was dancing in this big ass red jacuzzi tub but the kicker was Teresa was the damn camera person and you know this because everybody knows Teresa's voice by now and I'm not making this up, and I promise you, money makers, if I ever come across it again, I'm going to stop, drop, roll the camera for you. But if you have seen it, send me that link again so I can show my other money makers. But uh, a chick had them, and they was off of the um, Snapchat. And if you watched one of my other videos, you hear me talking about the Snapchat. And I, and I think it was Teresa's, um, not Louis and Laura's, because it was like on one of them saying sisters. And that was around the time when Kanika had just passed off the blunt and was hitting it. But anyway, yeah, she didn't tell y'all about them 
uh, bumping booties, bouncing booties up against each other in that big ass red jacuzzi tub at the hotel they were at, and Teresa was there. I'm gonna get to that uh, on another video. Let's continue on. Carry on. Now, I mean, Keith, stop it, y'all, but it seemed like she is very adamant about this 434 in the morning. Now, it's like everything else she can't remember, but she can remember this. That, that's one thing she done stuck with since day one. Carry on. So, you're automatically a little concerned because you're getting called at 4 in the morning. Most yes. parents are. Yes. And I don't like getting called at 4 in the morning. Yes. And what, what, what you hear was that he got me over the phone. And it was from my, do my, my daughter's friend. And I heard, she, she said, um, Ma, we can't find Kanika. I said, you can't find Kanika? I said, wait, please don't leave my baby. So, say one more time. Yeah, let me be clear on this. So, so, you get called at 4 in the morning. Oh, so what's going on at the hotel? Why, 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 these girls are looking for their friend, right? Yeah. And I, I don't know about y'all, but see, I did a lot of law stuff, like in, um, high school we were in like these mock trials and stuff and you know right then we would have hollered objection leading because it's like he's prepping them for what to say he asks them answers them and then yeah right and they have no other choice but to agree so you know we would have hollered objection Now, let me stop this, but I'm going to bring y'all some footage and tap in more on this stuff right here. Now, I never seen them really get into any... I'm sorry about the movement of this phone. I never seen them really come in contact with anybody to be talking to them. And somebody seeming like they were telling Monique for them that they had to leave. It's a lot of footage that they talk about uh, when they were at the hotel that I have not seen. You know, um, I don't know if anybody else has presented it either because i have not seen it but i really don't watch other people's stuff too much like i tell y'all it's like five people i might watch but anyway i have not seen the footage myself i've seen one footage with Teresa at the front desk but it wasn't like they described in you know in these interviews and stuff but we'll get on to that in another video money makers i got you lies now that I seen her at the front desk, but we'll get on to that. I'm gonna find it. We're gonna bring all that back. I said, my daughter friends woke me up and told me that my daughter they lost her in this hotel. I said, kids, someone please look at the uh, security cameras to see if they see my daughter. And she told me no. She told me, she stated to me that that was police matters. They couldn't have looked themselves. So they I, I asked them, could they look themselves? The hotel that's at Crown Plaza. And she stated to me no. So when the hotel said they wouldn't look at the surveillance footage and you couldn't find your daughter and you were in the hotel, you do what any mom would do. You mm -hmm. call 911. So, so it's okay, everybody. I, I, I want you all to hear. First of all, this this man and this this whole little interview is fake in this stage. Um, I'm a look. Let let me show you the part of the nine one one call that they uh talked about, and you know I talked about this in my nine one one call, but the way they're coming across is like they're trying to put all of the blame on the hotels. And in my next video, we gonna get down and dirty with it. This 911 call. This is playing for you. Yeah, yeah, she's only been gone for a couple hours. She could be somewhere with one of her friends, or again, it, it is only a couple of hours. She could be somewhere with one of her friends, or again, it, it is only a couple hours since you hadn't seen her, correct? Or since her friend supposedly hadn't seen her? Correct. That's it. 
Now, y'all see how they tried to run that on the loop, you know? So, that's why I'm like, they're sex shit. Uh, 34 hours now. Are you looking to file a missing persons report, then? I just want to know, is it possible they can look at the cameras and see, because they send the police out here and ask them to look at the cameras and see if... Now, I'm going to tell y'all, when they having this uh, original 911 call, these people are too casual and they spinning this, you know. So we're going to talk about this in my next video. The absolute wrong thing to do. And when the time is ticking. All right. Now, let me give my money makers this here a good treat. Y'all didn't catch that, did you? I'ma play it back for you so you can catch it, money makers. Y'all ready? Okay. Hold up, Leonora. This ain't your cue. You done messed up, girl. You done messed up, girl. You jumped the gun. You jumped the gun. Now, did y'all see how she looked at Dr. Oz? Like, Shh, my bad. She fucked up. See, this is why she don't never say nothing. This is why she couldn't talk on the radio station because she always fucking up. They, 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 they came to arrest us. That's how the police came. Can they arrest you? Yes. To yes. arrest you. Yeah. And for what? And this is like six thirty in the evening. Yes. Yeah. 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 But where is all of that footage? I ain't seen none of that either. Let me, let me. Okay, and there's a lot of talk about that, but I don't, I don't never see any of that stuff. Fire drill, you know, but hold up. Hold on. But Okay. Now look. You see, like, hold on, Leonora, shut up, cause you messing up. Look how she looking at Leonora, like, bitch. If you don't get your script together, get it together, L. Harris. Now it's your turn, Leonora. Now you may speak. Y'all, when I tell y'all, it's like the more they let these two talk, the more it's just like a big ass sinkhole. If y'all feel like this whole interview is staged and scripted, y'all please let me know. I mean, because, I mean, just, I guess you just have to watch it and just have to just know what you're looking for. I don't know. But when you, you see them messing up, you see them like missing marks, like this is scripted. They, um, this fella here is leading. I mean, it's just, I don't, I'm not buying this shit. I'm sorry. I'm just not. This is not working for me. Money makers, you know what to do. Get down in this comments. Get down in the comments.